Contestants from the 1-4 Infantry Battalion pushed themselves physically and mentally last week during the NCO and Soldier of the Year competition. In previous years, the award was determined only by a board appearance, but this year, things were made a little tougher. We wanted to go a little above and beyond that, so we put together a competition to uh, test the soldiers and NCOs competing in this for an overall odds of the best of the best, rather than just going in and answering a few questions. Probably the hardest part of the competition was uh, the ski slope we went up on that ruck march. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was decent. Let's go! They hiked up and down hills for 6.2 miles with 44 extra pounds on their back. And unfortunately for them, this was just the morning portion. You need to go and get your gear and move to your firing line. Go! They had to uh, qualify on their weapons after a 6.2 mile road march. Uh, what we tried to do there was induce uh, stress so that once they got to the firing range, it would be uh, more realistic. By now, the soldiers and NCOs were looking pretty tired, but they still had one more leg of the competition to go. It was a different type of board this time. There was a lot of situations, and uh, it was definitely a change-up, and uh, something that soldiers should definitely do more often. And besides earning an Army Achievement Medal, what else do the winners get to brag about? I don't know, maybe that parking spot up at the PX. That's what I was wondering. I keep Reporting for JMRC in Hohenfels, Germany, I'm Cassie Johannes.